This video outlines key items to be aware of during installation of a reionator or softmax system. First, it is important to note that in almost every circumstance, a water conditioning system is attached to the main incoming water line inside the home. This main water line conditions both the hot and cold water lines, including lines to drinking water and ice machines. Now, some tips for installation. When installing a system, choose a location that requires the least amount of piping. While this is important from a cost standpoint, it is more important that the distance between the water conditioning unit and the drain be as close as possible. The distance from the water conditioning system to the drain should not exceed 8 feet vertically and 20 feet horizontally. An approved 115-120 volt 60-cycle grounded receptacle should be within 15 feet of the system valve. Since salt or potassium chloride must be periodically added to the brine tank, the location of the brine tank should be easily accessible for the homeowner. All WaterTech systems are designed for installation inside a home or garage or other area that is weather protected. However, in a few states where climate conditions allow, systems may be installed outside. If the system is installed outside, it must be sheltered from rain and direct sunlight. In some situations, supplementary water treatment may be required for things like sediment filtering, iron removal, etc. If this is the case for your install, please make sure that adequate space is available for these water treatment components. Outside faucets should be on the untreated hard water line in front of the water conditioning system. Conditioned water is not needed or healthy for lawn or garden watering. However, the hose bib closest to the garage may have treated water for washing cars. Do not locate the system where it or the attached plumbing will ever be subjected to temperatures under 40 Fahrenheit 4.4 Celsius or over 110 Fahrenheit 43.3 Celsius as this may damage the tank and resin and void the warranty. Select an installation location where the floor is level. If the floor is rough or uneven, level it by placing the resin tank on 3 quarter inch exterior plywood. Cut the plywood one inch larger on all sides of the system and then shim to level as needed. Do not install any system close to a hot water heater with less than a total run of 12 feet of piping between the outlet of the water conditioning system and the inlet to the heater. Water heaters can sometimes overheat to the extent they will transmit heat back down the cold water pipe into the water conditioning system control valve. Hot water will severely damage this equipment. Elbows, bends, and straight pipe totaling 12 feet will meet this requirement. If it's necessary to place closer, install an approved check valve between the discharge on the water conditioning unit and the inlet of the water heater. In review, here are tips for installing a reionator or softmax system. We hope this tech video has been helpful. Please call us or check out the WaterTech website if you need more information.